Hey guys, it's Kylie. In today's video, I'm gonna go through a bowling score sheet and how to score a game of bowling. So today I'm gonna go through how you score a game of bowling. This is good to know whether you're just playing for fun with your friends or if you're competing at a professional college or a competitive level, it's definitely important to know how the game works and how scoring is. Bowling something fun to even do with your friends. And when you go to many places, they do an automatic scoring, but it's still important to understand what is happening when the score is tallying and to tell how you're actually scoring points and to know what you really need to throw at certain situations. Knowing how scoring works and how to score bowling will better help you understand the points you need to reach a certain target and which throws are important to help you gain more points. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration videos just like this, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload as I post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So now we're gonna dive in and go through a few different scenarios and how bowling scoring works. So this is what a bowling score sheet can look like. Sometimes you won't have both the first and the second boxes. You may only just have one box. If you only have one box, you'll just put that first number right in this gap. But this one does have two boxes. So we're gonna go through how to fill this sheet out. I will say that a max score you can get in bowling if you throw only strikes is 300. So that is the max possible points you may get on this sheet. So the first thing you're gonna do is just put a name so we're just gonna put Sam as our first bowler. And I'm gonna actually go through a few different scenarios. So I'm gonna put out a few different names and for those, I think I'm gonna do two different scenarios just to see how the scoring works depending on what happens, depending on what happens and what the bowler throws. So we're gonna do Sam and we are gonna do Oliver as our two people. So I'm gonna start off with Sam and we're gonna go across the line for Sam and then I'm gonna go across the line for Oliver. So we're just gonna say for Sam, their first throw is an eight and their second throw is a one. So what you do, if there's just two numbers in the box, you just add the two numbers together and you get the points as nine. Then on their second throw, they're gonna get a six and on this one, they are able to actually get a spare. So they got the other four pins down. So you draw a single line through that box. Now what that means is because they got a spare in that box, you are not gonna put anything in the box below. So you're gonna leave right here, nice and blank, but you are going to then roll the next ball. So when they bowl the next ball, say they got an eight. So the important thing to remember is for a spare, you count the next ball after. So the spare is 10 points plus the following ball. So for this, you get 18 total points. When you add the 18 to the nine, you are then going to get a score of 27. So you're gonna put 27 in this box. After that, they bowl again and they get another spare. So you're gonna draw another line you are then going to roll again. We'll say we got a four this time, not as good. So for this, you have 14 as your total. So when you add 14 to the previous square, you get 41. So what you are doing is you are adding the total for round three to round two. So this total, because of the spare, you do add that next ball as well. And then for this, let's say they get a gutter ball, just not a good frame for them. So you add that four points in and they are now at a 45. Following frame, they get a strike. So a strike is written as an X. Big thing to know with a strike, you can actually remember this, an easy way to remember this is with the lines that you have to write. So because it's an X, it's two lines. That means you have to count the next two balls as well. So a strike is 10 points plus the next two balls. So for this one, they get a strike. On the next frame, they get a six, and then they get a three. So they got nine points. So that means that total for the previous frame was 19. So we're going to add 19 to our 45, and we are going to get a total of 64. So 64 is their total score currently. You're gonna add in frame six. You can add in that next set of nine points. So to do that, you just add it right in to give them a total of 73. They're gonna bowl again. They're gonna get an eight and then a spare. 
So for this one, you again leave it blank until you do the next one. We're gonna get a seven. Now that they got that seven, we can add in that previous frame, a point of 17 to put us to an even 90. They then get a two to add another nine, so we're at 99. In this ninth frame, they get a two, so not a good frame for them. And then they actually throw a gutter ball. For a gutter ball or a ball that doesn't hit any pins, you just draw a horizontal line. So this puts them at a score of 101. And then for this one, they get a five. Now one thing to remember in this 10th box, because you are guaranteed those two extra balls after a strike or one extra ball after a spare, you may throw up to three balls in this box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a five and then they're just gonna get a four, so they're gonna end with that nine to give them a total score of 110. So you put in this final box, 110 as their score. I moved Oliver down so we could separate out his score. So for Oliver, Oliver is a much more experienced bowler. So for this, he is actually going to start off with a strike. So that means we have to count the next two balls. Well, Oliver gets a strike for the next round as well. So that's ball number one. And then the following one, he gets a seven. So for that first frame, Oliver has a score of 27. Now moving on to that second frame. We need to remember it's two balls. So for this, you count, you have the 10 from the initial strike, you have a seven in the next square, and then the next ball he rolls gets him a spare, which totals that to 10, which means 20 is the total for this next one. So which makes him a total of 47. This is what I'm actually also gonna switch back and forth between colors to show that the, this is a 20 point addition. So the red numbers are gonna be what we're adding together, but the black number is gonna be keeping that total score. Then sliding over on the next frame, we have to throw another ball. And for this one, he throws an eight. So for this, we have to add up the score for the previous one because it was a spare, you have to have that extra ball. So for this one, you got a score of 18, which puts Oliver now at 65. Then got a one, which adds a total of nine points to put us at a score of 74. Oliver then gets a strike. Remember, you gotta count the next two balls after that. So not a good throw after that, which is a four, and then a two. So just not a good frame for Oliver. You then add in, okay, you have 10 plus four plus two is 16. Adding that to our 70 gets an even 90. Now the big thing to understand with a strike versus a spare, for a strike, you have those two extra balls to score some big points. For a spare, you really wanna score some big points in that next throw. So now we add in that extra six points, so we're at 96. We got a, another round with a five and a four to get us to another nine points, which puts us at 105. We then have a throw of seven, and then you get down those last three pins and end up with a spare. Then we have a throw of nine, unable to capitalize on that last one, so we just leave that last one blank. So with that nine, we add that 19 points, which puts us at 124. We add in that other nine to put us at 133. Going into this last one, Oliver does throw a strike, and then actually throws a second strike, and then throws a seven. So for this one, he doesn't get any bonus for that second strike. He doesn't just keep throwing until he misses or any of that. So you just add these two together to get 27 as his score for that last one, and you have a total of 27 plus your 133 to get you to 160. So we just add that together, we get 160, and 160 is the final score. Just going back, I'm going to write in those red numbers so you can just see those as well. For this one, we are adding a total of 18 points. For the next one, we were adding nine. For this one, we were adding 16. We then added six. After the six, this next frame, we added nine. Then we added 19, we then added nine, 
And then for this final frame, we added 27. So showing the full score sheet, you can see that those red numbers, they show off all the different ads that you did for this frame. So you have Oliver's full 10 frames, you have Sam's full 10 frames, and you can see adding those strikes and spares and getting those extra bonus points in the next frame do help build your score up. But that is the basics of a bowling score sheet. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments down below. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, if you have any questions about how this works, any questions about what I did on the score sheet, definitely let me know. It's definitely something simple, but also has a few important details to it. It's something important to know whether you're just playing with your friends or you are competing in a match of bowling. It's important to understand how the game works, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. Check out the videos linked at the end to see more videos just like this, and if there's any videos like this you wanna see, definitely let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Oh,